Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Hey, today I want to talk to you about power supplies on the road, on a trip, overlanding, camping, that type of thing. Uh, and not your typical power conversation. Not We're not going to talk about integrated uh, dual battery systems or even larger mobile systems to run refrigerators, that types of, of things. We will have that conversation in due time. I'm actually working on a, a new setup currently. What I want to talk about today is small power. Uh, small power that makes life a little easier um, on a trip and at home for that matter. But uh, uh, portable small units that can um, uh, recharge small devices so you don't have to use your main power source for those things. And convenience as far as having uh, a unit up in the tent. Uh, to charge some things, or having a dedicated small power source for a particular project. I'm going to show you an example of that today, too. So anyway, that's what we want to talk about today. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so here are some of the items I have, uh, some of which are power banks specifically, and then some are um, other products with the power bank integrated in with it, which is great. I love dual purpose equipment. Uh, it really helps in regard to the amount of equipment you have to take with you on a trip. So let's take a look at these and look at some of the options available. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's start with the uh, Jackery. Um, this is a, a smaller, one of the smaller Jackery units, uh, we refer to them as power stations. Um, I have the larger, I have the 1500, but uh, recently bought this on Amazon Prime Day and I got a great deal on it. They rarely go on sale, but um, I'm so glad I bought it. I, uh, I would have paid full price at this point knowing what I know now, but uh, the unit is a, it's a 300, so 300 watt hours, which uh, actual usable watt hours is about 15% less than that because you really don't want to take a it's a lithium ion battery. You don't want to take it down past 15%. So that's about to what the usable capacity is. But great little unit. It's got the USB um, uh, outputs and it's got AC outputs. It's got the eight millimeter input for either a wall charger or uh, solar panels. And then the 12 volt uh, regulated as well. So good little unit. Uh, this is something as far as small power goes to keep in the tent or uh, somewhere external to the main power source just for convenience. So highly recommend it, great. And, and Jackery is just one of many brands. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, I just uh, happen to choose Jackery. Um, as far as just power banks goes, just dedicated power banks, and that's typically what the Jackery is, just dedicated power, it doesn't really do anything else. Um, it's amazing what, how much capacity you can now get in such a small unit. Um, this one here is 16,750 milliamp hours, and this guy is 26,800. So a lot of capacity in a small form factor. Uh, the other thing about these things are they're very low maintenance. Um, this thing is at full charge, as you can see, and um, I probably haven't charged this thing in at least five months. So it's very low maintenance. Not something you have to think about every month or two. So uh, great. Great addition to your preparedness bag or uh, taken out on trips. Good backup pow power. Uh, here's one I bought, just a little variation to a uh, power bank. This one is made to be very durable. I mean, this thing, I, I paid for that, uh, those features. Uh, again, full power, haven't, haven't, again, haven't charged this thing in forever as well. A little light on there, and I believe it does SOS as well. Inputs, outputs. Uh, it's got a solar panel, which is kind of cool, uh, but it's not the most efficient. But it will replenish, just not at a very fast rate. So it will it will do a little bit there. So um, like this unit, this is actually what I keep in my uh, go bag. It's uh, in my get home bag. Uh, this is actually 24,000 milliamp hours, so uh, a lot of capacity. Um, and then other products that have other uses, that have a built-in power bank in them. Uh, one being this Claymore Light. I did a review on this. This was the first review I did for the channel. 
Um, great light, a lot of good features, um, extremely weather resistant. And uh, I believe it's got like a 22,000, like 22,000 milliamp um, power bank in it. So great light, but also a good backup power source. Um, hand warmers, I mean, it's amazing what you can have as a product and be a power bank. These fans, great examples. Uh, these are the fans I use in my uh, rooftop tent during the summertime when I need some additional airflow. Both of them, 10,000 milliamp batteries in them, power banks, and can be used as backup power. So um, very cool, love the dual purpose equipment. Um, another, let me show you another example of not only using power banks for your backup sources, throwing them in the bag, but also using them in actual projects for convenience. So I recently, let's take a look over here. I recently did a project where I wanted some LED lights in the bed of my truck. I just wanted it simple. I didn't want to pull from the, uh, the main power source. Uh, I just wanted it simple. So up here, you can see there's some LEDs on this strip right here. Okay, I just, and this was cheap. I mean, this is very easy to do. The, the strip has adhesive on the back. You just throw it up there, peel it off, throw it up there. I bought this little cheap switch to turn them on and off. Okay, so there you go. And then the way I'm powering this is just a little power bank right here. I mean, that's as simple as it gets. And no more than LEDs pull, this thing's gonna last quite a long time on a charge. But I got it attached with Velcro and it's plugged in down here. So when it does run out, I'll just pull it off, recharge it, slap it back on there. Simple, love it, love it, love it. So again, many uses for these little power banks other than just having additional power while on a trip. Okay, now let's talk about jump starters. Um, I'm so impressed with this technology and how far it's come over the years. Uh, not to uh, date me as far as my age, but when, when I was young, uh, to be prepared and the vehicles we drove back then, we had to be prepared. They weren't the most reliable. But um, you, you carried a set of jumper cables in the car. And uh, the problem with that is you were, were still relying on someone else to assist you because um, you, the car can only be jumped off by another car. So that's fine, but that is a, an area of risk that uh, you are um, incorporating there. So today, that's no longer needed. I mean, these jump starters are incredible. They're so small, they're so powerful. And um, from a preparedness standpoint, you can be totally independent on being able to recover from a uh, challenging situation. So uh, let's talk about this in more detail. Okay, before we get started in the uh, review of this Gulu unit, let me just show you in comparison. This is what I purchased probably about five years ago um, for my portable uh, power supply, uh, jump start. Um, this, I was so excited about it. Now, this does have an air compression in it, so that does make it a little bit larger, but I, had to, I always had to top this thing off about every month to keep it charged up. And uh, it was good for the time, but um, again, this big unit has been replaced by these little guys. So uh, very excited about this technology. Like I said, I think every vehicle should have one. But um, anyway, so let's get into the Gulu uh, 1200A. Uh, again, full transparency, Gulu sent me this one to review, but I have bought many units uh, prior to this. So uh, I, I've always loved the, the, the brand. Um, and there's other units out there. I mean, there's other, other suppliers, but I did my research and I just, um, I can't remember all the details, but I really decided on Gulu based on a lot of information I gathered at the time. And uh, I've been very pleased with them. All right, so I love this packaging. So for the automobile, this thing would probably even fit in most dashes. If not, just throw it in the, you know, in the back floorboard, or if you have a uh, get home bag of some type, perfect for that. Okay, so you've got all your documentation here. And here's the unit itself. 
again, not very large at all, uh, very small. It's got uh, a lot of inputs and outputs. It's got your, uh, uh, as far as inputs, it's got a five volt uh, one amp. And then as far as outputs, it's got 12 volt 10 amp. It's got the uh, five volt 2.1 amp USB. And it's got a quick charge USB. Then it's got a light and it's got the, uh, then the jump start port here. Um, again, here's how you see, you look to see how it's charged. Uh, one thing too, in this regard, when it comes to jumping the car off, um, they recommend 60% charge or better. So that's about three dots or better. Not to say that it will not work with a lower charge, but they do highly recommend that. Okay, and here's your light. Um, and your light does have a strobe and it has an SOS, which is really cool. So just a, another safety feature. So many reasons to have this in your vehicle. So again, it's a jump start. It's also a power bank. It's also a distress signal. Great combination. All right, so it comes with a, um, a DC adapter, cigarette lighter type of adapter for your output and your input. So here is a adapter to charge by your uh, car uh, uh, DC source as well. USB cable, which, you know, if you're like me, I have a ton of these things. Um, and then here's your jump start cables. All right. So you look at the top of this, there's a little ridge there that tells you what orientation the ridge is on the upper side here. And you just basically plug that in. That's it. And then just like jumper cables, you know, red goes to the plus, black goes to the minus. You attach them, there'll be a green light that will show up here. When you see the green light on, it's ready to, to crank. So uh, crank it up, pull them off, just like you would jumper cables, put it back, you're good to go. So a little bit about the unit. Um, it's a 1200A, which means it's a, a peak current of 1200 amps. Um, the power is about 66.6 .6 watt hours as far as the uh, capacity. Um, the size of this little guy is uh, a little over six inches by three inches by about an inch and a half. Weight is just slightly over a pound. And um, it's I even like the, the, um, the, the uh, whatever this is coated with. It's kind of that rubberized, a little bit of a rubberized feel to it, but not rubber, not soft, but just has that good quality feel to it. So uh, again, just many things I like about this this thing. Um, now this is 1200A, like I said, they make, this is a 1500 I have for my motorcycle. I've got some 2000s I've given as presents and um, I've got the 4000 in my truck. So a great line. They also have a competitive line with the, the Jackery units. Um, in, in fact, they have a sale going on right now. Uh, their power stations, I know it's the uh, 500 watt hour system is on sale for about $100 off. I'll leave uh, links below on that and the other products that I've shown today. Now, full transparency, I don't have any experience with that unit. Um, I know everything I've bought from them has been solid. So I assume it would be the same, but I, I don't have any actual experience with it. But at the price that it's at, um, uh, it, you know, most of these power stations run about a dollar per watt hour, some of them more than that. And I think the price with the hundred dollars off is somewhere maybe just over $300 or so. So that's a great price if you're wanting to get into a smaller power station. So, um, and it's, it's going to be bought through Amazon. So. You can use the links I provide. You won't pay any more. Uh, we get a little bit out of that. It helps our channel, but uh, you, you pay the same price. So again, buying through Amazon is usually a safe bet. So that will do it today. I wanted to just discuss the impact that small power has um, on your traveling and uh, adventures out there. It can be very useful, very convenient, and may uh, save you uh, in, a, in a time of need. So uh, we do appreciate, as always, um, if you would like and subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done so already, if you already have, we appreciate it. And thanks again for all the comments. Uh, we really enjoy answering those and then all the support you've given us in the last four or five months. Channel's doing great and it's all because of you. So 
as always, until next time, have fun out there.